So what's up, girl? It's your girl Wan Wing here at Maya's Treasure Box. About to go ahead and do my Sagittarius. What I'm gonna do with y'all? I'm gonna do y'all monthly October read along with your next 72 hours. So my Sag. So when it comes down to your monthly, a lot of you guys have been trapped in fear, afraid, and in solitude, afraid of opening up to who you really are. But you got a lot of ideas and things that you want to do, but you're afraid to just open that. You, you're really afraid to open up that window. But it's like the ideals that you have, a lot of you, some of you guys may have babies on the way. I don't know, but I'm just saying the idea that you have Stick with it. Stick with it. Stick with that idea because I don't think this idea that you're having is going to actually fail you. So with that being said, let me go ahead and break down this monthly thing for your mouth. Then I'll do y'all next 72. Some y'all could be dealing with baby mama drama or baby daddy drama. You know, however that may go. Take it how it resonates. Some of y'all have somebody that y'all want this brand new beginning with, this start this family thing with. Y'all may even have a child by this person. Somebody may even have a golden retriever, but for some reason, it's not working out. It's not working out. This this is a heartbreak to you. Now, some of you guys can be dealing with another Leo Sagittarius or Aries. Somebody could have dreads, but it's like... You, you, in your heart of your hearts, you. This is the person that you're manifesting, the person that you want that's gonna love you the way you want to be loved, treat you the way you want to be treated. I think a lot of you guys already have that person, but you're just looking at looking for those traits in the wrong person. That's why you can't see it, and you're holding on. You're holding on to somebody from the past or somebody that you got a son from. You're holding on to him. You just holding on to this person, and it's like that's the only reason why you holding on to them. And you really know that, and you just so stuck and deep inside yourself trying to figure things out. But the real reason why you trying to hold on to this person is because a lot of y'all, y'all are so conflicted in y'all minds. Y'all are so conflicted in y'all minds because y'all holding on to something that don't want to be held on to. Because whoever y'all holding on to, if it's a person that you have a child from, you holding on to that person because y'all have a child together. That's a foundation that's built on faulty grounds. It's not going to last no matter what. And it's like the balance is coming. You want to take this leap of faith and bring the balance. The only one that can do that, my Sag, is y'all. So as far as y'all next 72, my Sagittarius look. Y'all got a twin flame, soulmate. Love begins harmony with somebody. It's somebody that y'all dealing with that y'all love, but I don't I don't know if y'all recognize y'all love that person that way or if y'all person not recognizing it. But it's like it's something that's coming in between the And I see judgment already these next 72 hours. So let's see. Maybe you realizing how much you do actually love a certain person and wondering like what should you do? Only you will know because you got to follow your heart, follow your mind. Don't listen to nothing nobody else tell you. You can take a lot of things into a suggestion, but if that's not where your heart at, that's just not where your heart at. You can't make your heart be somewhere where it's not at, and that's just truth. So these next 72... Somebody that y'all was in a relationship with... And this may happen today. Somebody that y'all was in a relationship with or a situation, y'all see that this shit is not, it's not going to last. It's a foundation built on faulty grounds. And this person, the goddamn devil, they fucking versus than you. Y'all heard that? I made that shit a versus. Don't y'all judge me. I make up words. I'm from Fort Pierce. We do that shit. Y'all don't, don't y'all judge us. Now y'all know we get you back with all that other stuff. Anyways, your person could be a Capricorn. Gemini, I mean, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or either you're dealing with a Scorpio. Whoever it is, y'all fight, argue all the time. It's coming to an end. It's coming to an ending. It is coming to an ending. It's coming to an ending, and it's like, it probably killed you 
to have to come to a to bring this situation shit to an ending. But I see a brand new beginning on the horizon with somebody from your past. And whoever this is from your past, it could be a Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Gemini, Libra, or uh um Aquarius. But you moving you trying to you you moving towards where you wanna be at. You going towards where you wanna be at and you wanna make things right with somebody. You wanna make things you wanna balance things out with somebody. Somebody you feel like you owe an apology to. You feel like you owe an apology to this person because of simple fact either you've been ghosting on this person and haven't really communicated with this person or this person has done this to you. Whoever it is, it's like this person, for some reason, when you look at this person, you see yourself going towards the light and this person is a wish come true for you and you had to go inside yourself to see that and it's like you think this person going to have their guards up against you? I don't see it. I don't see them having their guards up against you. This, I think your person may be, your person trying to balance out the, 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 they're trying to balance out the feeling that they feel like you got somebody else, you dealing with somebody else. They don't have no resistance towards you. I believe they want the same thing that you want. You broke their heart. You broke their heart, but they still wouldn't take this leap of faith out on you. But, or so, with that being said, my Sagittarius, then go y'all next 72. The first one that I did, it was for the month of October. Now, let me put y'all onto these smoking words right here. My Sagittarius. We're going to put them all in one. So, I'm going to give y'all some smoking words. My Sagittarius, what has been going on ever since, like, last year? When we had these, port, like, the 10, 10, port, the 4, 4, 4, the 11, 11, port, the 12, 12. When we've had all these portals open up, this is the year of the twin flames and the soulmate. You have, if you have a twin flame, that's when you it becomes you have what they call a divine feminine and a divine masculine. Now, gender does not gender does not take ordinance or it does not gender is not priority shit when it comes down to tarot reading. It's not. It's just energy. So if I say a king or a queen, it doesn't mean a male or a female. It's just the energy that you are embracing. What y'all had, the thing that y'all don't have to learn is to know how to, to stand your own ground and see things for what they is. If you dealing with a person, they not making you happy. It's not for you to try to do things to make them happy to accommodate those empty spaces or those those missed spots that you have in your heart that you didn't get. Because a lot of Sagittarius have abandonment issues. A lot of y'all are dealing more with more things dealing with a baby mama or a baby daddy than anything. But your heart chakra is beginning to charge. So a lot of you guys are running to people that you realize like this person probably do love me. But nah, this can't be true. You can't think like that. Don't think like that. It, it can be true. You want to play a number 877. That's a good number for you to play. It's positive movement for you. got to let your heart chakra open and you got to let it heal because you don't need all the suffering that you need to do. How much more suffering do you want to do? That's the question. And so when it comes down, let's see. Let's see. We're going to see what these cards got to say. Because I'm telling you, my, my fight signs, my fight signs been going through a lot. So these smoking words, basically... You dealing with somebody that you feel like this person ain't up to no good, but you feel like this might be a wish come true. But when you sit back and think about it, that's probably about why a lot of you guys have been off to yourself because it's somebody else that you your heart really yearns for. And I think a lot of you guys are denying that, denying it because of the simple fact of the issues that you had to go through growing up. Abandonment issues is something serious. When people have abandonment issues. Abandon, when people have abandonment issues, they seem to have to have something tangible there in order for them to hold on to somebody because they think that's love got to have something tangible. No. Abandonment issues, what it's supposed to teach you is your family is based on love and loyalty. 
Blood has no no relevance when it comes to that right there. Blood just make you magnetically combine on this damn earth because that our blood it contracts with this electromagnetic field until you are at a certain vibrational level in your spirituality. Because once you get to a certain vibrational level, your blood is demagnetized. So you the law of attraction no longer applies to you. Heaven and hell is the same thing. What's on heaven isn't on earth. It's the same thing. It's all it depends on the way you perceive it. Y'all welcome. But this is something, this is something that you have to learn from how you're up and your intuition is going off and it's like it's killing you because you look like you probably don't some of y'all probably have cut a lot of people off or you probably cut off the person that you feel like probably really your person, but it's like in your mind you can't really let this person go. And you don't really realize like why not? Why not? It's because this could be another Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Some of y'all could be married and don't want to tell the truth and you stuck. But some of y'all could be stuck on a baby mama or a baby daddy who you have a son from. And that shit don't came to an end so many times they don't broke your damn heart. And it don't make no sense. And it's like, you got a lot of love. It's a lot of love there. You know that. And you all only thing you want is somebody that's going to love you the way they love you. Now that you got it, you conflict it in your mind. So this is what your obstacle is, these smoking words. It's for you to realize if a person love you, they're going to put in just as much as work you put in to make you happy. Just like you're going to put in to make them happy. You do what you want to do. I'm going to give you an example. Say for instance, you ain't got no money, no gas, and no babysitter. Let that phone call come, like, come holler at me. You gonna find a babysitter, gas money, drinking money, smoking money. Y'all know what I'm talking about. A person do what they want to do. That goes for anybody. So with that being said, my Sagittarius, there y'all go.